today's lecture, we would like to look at another paper. And this is quite a long length research paper with uh, specific economic models in it to explain the loans to SMEs where big techs mainly provide credit to small vendors in their ecosystem. So they would like to uh, analyze how these big tech firms had some advantages against the traditional banks. Let's think about um, a firm, uh, a big tech firm. For example, let's say we have Amazon, right? So for Amazon, they have um, some clients or users who are actually companies, right? What are the information that they can obtain from those vendors? The quantity price they uploaded on their platform. Quantity and price? price. Okay, they uploaded on the form. Or their daily selling capacity. Selling capacity. Okay, so they are they have the record of the transactions. How many, you know, quantities were sold at what price? You know, that sort of information is there. Okay, yeah, that's right. And any other idea? How about what product is most sell, and the most sell products that they can identify? Mo best seller. Yeah, best seller products. Okay, best seller products. Yeah, the type of product that is selling quite well, let's say. So you have a small retailer for electronics, mm -hmm. and for the banks, they only have the documents they provide, okay? This retailer provides. However, for the Amazon, they, if they want to, you know, to extend a loan, provide the credit to this, uh, you know, the pro retailers, electronic retailers, they would also ask for them of some documents, but they have already their sales data the type of product, how many quantity, at what price, as well as the reputation review and the relationship with the customer. Okay? So they can actually combine all of these information that is not traditional one, which bank owns, right, normally. But they, this non-traditional data, bank doesn't have. So they have kind of advantages over the banks in re acquiring more information that is not traditional. Okay, that's uh, the point that, that I wanted to make. Is it not possible for, for, for those retailers to provide that kind of information to the banks if they need credit for them? Oh, isn't it possible? Yeah. yeah, but you know, banks would have like, bank, I, I, I presume maybe banks don't really ask them to provide like the reviews, all the reviews, because it is not their, you know, main role to sort of um, analyze the reviews, and it will take a lot of time for them to monitor, review all of the documents that they have. So they could, it is possible that they could ask for it, but probably the firm wouldn't really have the obligation to provide the data, the review data, but they wish, if they wish to, they can do, but it is not obliged obligation for them to provide those type of data. So it's a cost-benefit analysis in a way. So for the Amazon, big techs, they would have like cost-effective way to gather more information than banks do. Hello, my name is Kyra Smay from Cambodia. Uh, I'm taking MPP program here and before coming here I was working at the National Bank of Cambodia which is the central bank. The one that is very um, interesting to me is the textual analysis in policy making because it's new to me. Before we, before we only learn about the model to analyze the risk, but now we can, we can also learn about textual analysis, which we only uh, type in the uh, frequency words that we can predict the uncertainty in the future as well. So it's very uh, su surprising to me, very impressive. Um, we have learned a lot of um, interesting topics related to how punkies and big data can win over the challenges on 
the market in the case of using technology and it gave me a lot of insights to do more research on this field. I am hoping to enhance my knowledge and further my understanding in ICT policy development so that can um, we can come up with better policies that can be very uh, impactful to um, key policy be beneficiaries. I like the kind of conducive atmosphere that she creates in class. She makes us feel comfortable to participate and contribute to class and share our thoughts and understanding. And I, I, I think she's uh, the most relevant for, for this course. So uh, I think um, this is it for today. And thank you so much and see you next week. And if you have any questions, discussions, we can save it for the next week, okay? Okay, that's good.